I would say that was fairly close to him. I mean, in the beginnings, uh, the relationship was distant. I knew him as a respected professor on the University of uh, Ghana campus. Uh, a friend of mine had become the PNDC Secretary for Youth and Sports in 1982. And I'm talking about Mr. Zayebo. And uh, they were looking for somebody who was honest, who was forthright, and who had, a, you know, exceptional administrative skills to handle the National Sports Council at the time, because the National Sports Council at the time was in a bit of a problem and so on. So Mr. Zayebo then asked me what I thought and so on, and immediately the name of Professor Mills came to mind. And I said, well, you have this professor who has been active in sports, he's actually played hockey, He's played in the national hockey team, you know. He's been involved in the administration of across uh, Hearts of Folk. He's been involved in athletics and so on. So there's a remarkable man, and, and you can count on his honesty and commitment to the development of the sport and so on. Now, eventually, he got appointed as the chairman of the National Sports Council. And subsequently, the executive duties were added onto him and so on. And I knew him fairly well at the time that he was administering sports in Ghana. At one stage, I used to be the public relations officer of the Ministry of Youth and Sports, and we had a certain relationship. Occasionally, we would meet, and he would express his views quite candidly, and, and so on. When he became vice president, I didn't meet him much until he came into a position, and so on. Uh, at the time that he was contesting for elections uh, in the year 2000. I was firmly ensconced in the President Kufuor campaign and we were more or less at the different sides of politics and so on. But somehow after 2004, because of the policies which were being implemented by the Kufuor administration, uh, which was leading to serious increments in the cost of living and so on, and also other factors and so I found myself working with the Committee for Joint Action. And the Committee for Joint Action was made up of political parties in the opposition, the People's National Convention, uh, elements of the Convention People's Party were part of it, the National Democratic Congress, the Eagle Party and so on. And we began to work together again, you know, until he became president. He actually addressed some of our meetings. Uh, he took part in the signature campaigns that we organized. He came to my office on a number of occasions and so on. And then he became president, you know. So I knew him fairly well, fairly well, very well maybe. 